Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Monica Rea, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made vintage rompers for my daughters. So I used this pattern here, which is the Simplicity 8099, and I did view A and just left it as a romper. It's super cute, it's got ruffles and trim, and I absolutely love it. They look super adorable in it, and if you'd like to see how I made them, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start out with tracing all of the pattern pieces and then cutting them out. And then I'm going to start with the bib portion. So I've already stay stitched across the top. I'm just going to trim off the excess fabric. Then I'm going to notch the curves. This helps with the fabric laying nicer and releasing the tension in the curves so that it can lay flat. So here I've turned them out and now I'm just basting around the edges to ensure that this stays flat during construction. And now I'm gonna work on the ruffles that are gonna be attached to the suspenders. So here I just hemmed them up and added little gathering stitches so we can make the ruffles. I'm going to gather these down until they match a specific area on the suspenders. and then pin in place, and I'll do that for each of them. And now I'm just gonna sew those down. And then for this next step, we're completing the suspender. So this piece is gonna go over it or it'll be, I guess, lined. So in order to complete this part, I burrito rolled pretty much the ruffles inward and pinned them down. And now I'm just sewing the second part of the suspender on. And then once that's complete, we'll pull the inside out. And as you can see here, I'm just pulling those pins out just to make sure that I don't sew those inside. So here I'm just making sure that I don't catch the ruffles in this stitch. And now, pulling the ruffles out. This was a bit of a task. Now that that's done, I'm going to press it and do the other side. And here's what both of the tops look like so far. There's a part of the suspender that is open. 
So I need to hand sew that down. And here they are, all completed. And now it's time to add the little frilly lace trim. Lace completed. And now I'm going to sew on the waistband and then move on to the shorts. So here I added the pleat onto the shorts. So far I've got the left side stitched and that's where the buttons are going to go there. And we'll go ahead and finish sewing the rest of the shorts together. So I'm going to sew the crotch and the right seams. And now it's time to connect the shorts to the waistband. And now I'm just going to trim off the excess and clip the corners so that we can flip them out and it'll stay nice and flat. And then I'll press this to make it smooth and then hand sew the inside down. And here's what it looks like all pressed out. And we're gonna hand sew that one as well. So here I'm adding the buttonholes where the suspenders will meet. So there's gonna be a button on the side of the shorts and then the suspenders will cross over the back and button right here. And there it's all sewn down. Or last but not least, we're gonna hem up the shorts. Mm -hmm. 
and at this stage I did end up going over the hem again so there's two rows of stitching at the hem. All right, so now it's time for a little field trip to the park so you can see these rompers in action. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and of course if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and also consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!